For this video, all we need is a new blank workbook. Grouping is a really lovely feature that allows us to work with or on multiple sheets at the same time. Now, we currently only have one sheet, so let's quickly create five more sheets. Then, to group the first three sheets together, click on Sheet 1, hold down the Shift key on the keyboard, then click on Sheet 3. We can see that the tab names of all three sheets are white, which means they are all selected at the same time. If we want to move all three together, we can now click and hold down the click on any of the three tabs and drag them as a group to the right of Sheet 6. Once we drop them, they automatically ungroup. Next, we'll group Sheet 1 and Sheet 3 only. Sheet 1 is already selected, so we can hold down the Control key on the keyboard, then click on the Sheet 3 tab. Click and hold down the click on either of the two selected tabs and drag them as a group to the left of Sheet 4. Isn't that great? Now I use this not just to move sheets, but to delete multiple sheets or hide multiple sheets, etc. Let's grab Sheet 2 and put it back between Sheets 1 and 3 to keep them in order. We'll look at ungrouping next. We'll start by grouping the first four sheets together. So let's click on Sheet 1, hold down the Shift key and click on Sheet 4. Now if we have some grouped and some ungrouped sheets like we have, then clicking on an ungrouped sheet will remove the grouping. But if all sheets are grouped, and let's do that, by clicking on Sheet 6, holding down the Shift key and clicking on Sheet 1. Well then we don't have an ungrouped sheet to click on. So, we have to do it in a different way. We can right-click on any of the group sheets and from the shortcut menu, choose Ungroup Sheets. Lastly, I'm going to show you one of my favourite ways to use grouping. Let's click onto Sheet 1, hold down the Shift key and click on Sheet 6. Then click onto cell B2. Type in Week 1 and fill handle across to week 4. Then click onto cell A2. Type in product 1 and fill handle down, say, to product 10. Let's highlight cells B1 to E1 and we'll put on bold and center alignment as well. Then let's right click on any one of the sheet tabs and select ungroup sheets. If we now check each individual sheet, we'll see that they all have the exact same information on them. Isn't that just fantastic? Now, we've just noticed that column A needs to be widened. Now, rather than do that individually on each sheet, let's group them together and widen it once. Then ungroup those sheets so we can check that it has indeed happened on each sheet. So when we group sheets together, what we do on one will also be done on the others.